Hello everybody, today I want to talk about swim caps. Now this may sound like a really boring subject, but if you're anything like me and you came from a non-swim background, you didn't swim as a kid growing up, you never worn a swim cap before, I mean, you may be a little bit confused about why they're compulsory in races, and there are even some tips and tricks about how to wear the swim caps, which I hope to share with you. So here we go, we're going to go for a little bit of a mini deep dive into the, the humble swim cap, and hopefully you'll learn a few things. So. When you turn up for your race, whatever distance the race is, you will need to wear a swim cap. Now, for those of you who just don't like the idea of wearing a swim cap, you try them, find it, they pull on your hair for whatever reason, this may seem a little bit confusing. You know, why is it that I, why is it that I need to wear this swim cap? You know, my, especially, you know, if you don't have as much hair as some people, you know, the hair, you know, the, the, it, it's not an issue. Why do I need to? Well, the main reason that we need to wear swim caps is unfortunately good old health and safety. Now, there is actually a very good reason for this. When you're swimming in a dark lake, in a dark wetsuit, especially if it is incredibly overcast or where, where there's really low sun, for those who are on the boats out there who are providing the health and safety cover, it can be really hard to spot athletes actually. Um, if you stand at the, side, at the edge of a lake um, and you watch an open water swimming session in progress, for those athletes that aren't especially close to, all you'll be able to see will be a brightly coloured dot slowly making their way around the lake. So it's really important for the health and safety crews to be able to spot us, to be able to help us if we get into trouble. Now, even if you are the world's strongest swimmer, the most confident outdoor swimmer, unfortunately, in triathlon, you know, especially in recent years when we have people who've come from you know, a wide range of um, backgrounds, back in the 80s, you know, triathlon was definitely something that runners did and they sort of picked up the swimming and the cycling. They came from more than that, you know, uh, had a larger training history. Where now we realise that you can go from very little training, maybe up to even an Ironman within sort of eight to ten months. So as you get more people from more backgrounds who are getting involved in the sport, unfortunately there are more deaths occurring at Ironman events. And the vast majority of those deaths very sadly come in the swim. Now the reason for this is you have people will lose consciousness for whatever reason while swimming. So it could be a cardiac event, it could be they're suffering a stroke. There are a large number of medical conditions that can involve somebody losing consciousness. And if you lose consciousness with your face in the water, you're running out of time relatively quickly. So it's really up to the swimmers that are around you and the water safety crews to be able to spot that you have stopped moving. And the best way to do that it's with a swim cap so they can see when something's amiss. So let's start off by having a look at um, other reasons that we put the swim caps on and also uh, look at a few tips and tricks. So not every event has it takes place in open water where visibility is an issue so why do swimmers just wear swim caps as a general rule? Well the main reason is hydrodynamics or how streamlined you are through the water. Um, on the bikes, we do everything we can to get ourselves really tucked up and really aero to reduce resistance as we're riding along. Now, water is so much denser than air, it becomes even more important for us to become streamlined. And when it comes to hair that would be moving around in the water, that would really slow somebody down a fair bit when swimming, especially in pool events where hundreds or thousands of a second can be the difference between making a po the podium and not making the podium. So when you're looking for every little piece of advantage in the water, then having all of your hair tucked in nicely underneath your swim cap is a really great way to do that. Secondly, is visibility. So when you are swimming in the water, if your hair is longer and getting into your eyes, it's going to affect what you can see and what's going around you. Finally, an extra third reason is hygiene, really. Nobody wants to swim around with somebody else's hair floating around in the water. You don't want to swim around with my hair floating in the water. I don't want to swim with you, around with your hair floating in the water. So by keeping a swim cap on, that helps make sure that we keep that to an absolute minimum. So one thing that swim caps do not do, and I cannot you know, make this point strong enough, is they do not keep your hair dry. They are not designed to keep your hair dry. A simple seal of a latex or silicon cap is not going to keep all the litres of water that you're swimming through out of your hair. If you're going to get in the water, your hair's going to get wet. Now, I find that if I wear a swim cap, my um, hair doesn't end up being quite as bedraggled as it would be otherwise when I get out of the water, but it's a small point really. The only time that somebody may be looking 
to have another type of swim cap than just your very standard size swim cap is if you are somebody who has a large amount of hair, Afro-Caribbean hair that can be very springy, it can really be difficult to fit under a swim cap. You can find on a number of um, swim websites, look, I know that Speedo have some, some oversized swim caps that may be some help for you. Okay, so first off, we're gonna have a look at how we put our swim cap on. So a uh, point that I should make is that the, the logo, the writing, all of, all of this, goes at the sides. I spent longer than I'd be willing to admit um, swimming with it facing forwards. However, um, for various reasons, including a low level of hydrodynamics, given the cut, it is, it is done best when the, um, when the logos are at the side. I start off by putting my four fingers in the cap here, okay? Then I lift, then I pull those tight as I can, place the cap over my head, and start off by pulling it down, tucking for what I guess is an excuse of a fringe in. And then I get to the back there, tuck a bit in there, and there we go. Doesn't take too much time, all, uh, all things being said. So now that it's on, it's giving us a nice seal there. It's covering my ears. It's, it doesn't necessarily have to cover your ears. I choose to have mine covering my ears. Some people rather than have a little bit higher. It's not a huge issue. Should be pointed out as well, no matter how you put your swim cap on, if it falls off during the race, you will not be disqualified. You will not be penalised. Sometimes it gets knocked off by another competitor. Sometimes it just didn't quite go on for whatever reason. It's not a huge deal. Don't panic about this being disqualified. The most important thing is that you get in the water with your swim cap on, but as the, for the point I made earlier in the video, please don't take it off just because it irritates you, okay? For the health and safety reason, but don't panic too much if it does come off. Now that we have our swim cap on, the next thing we do is stick our goggles on. So I tend to put my goggles over the top of my, my hat like this. So the advantage of this is that it pins down uh, the swim cap to the size of my face like that. Um, whereas if the swim caps went under the, uh, under, the, under the cap, then it can create a little bit of a bridge, let a bit more water. I find that water tends to move in and around my ears, which can be a, disorient be a bit disorientating while I'm swimming. However, it really is a personal choice, okay? Make sure that your strap is somewhat towards the top. Don't have it, don't have the strap of your goggles down the back. Lift it up a little bit higher to make sure that, it, that they stay on. And that should be a pretty good setup. This is how I race. When we are in the water and we have lots of arms and legs everywhere, it's not impossible that our goggles might get knocked off, okay? So there's a second little trick that I'm gonna show you to try and prevent that. So, if you are worried about your goggles coming off, if you're gonna be swimming towards the front of affairs, perhaps you're a really confident swimmer but new to open water, you're worried about your goggles getting knocked off, which would have a large effect on your swim, Here's a little trick you can do. Trick you can do. You simply stick another swim cap over the top. And not only does this not lock our goggles in, it also gives us two layers of insulation. So if it's a cold water swim, and I've got two layers of latex between my head and not. Now I just happen to have two swim caps from Ironman UK knocking around. If you don't have, you, you're not gonna have two swim caps from the race organizer, so you need to bring your own to put as a, a swim cap underneath and then put uh, the race swim cap over the top there. Well, I hope you learned something from this video. If you want more triathlon tips like this, make sure to subscribe, follow, whatever it is on your respective platform, and I'll see you soon.